Hey guys, Jim back again with another video. Um, in today's video, um, I got my di diab Diabolic DVD package in the mail today from DiabolicDVD.com. So I'm going to unbubble it for you guys to show you everything I got in. So there's about 12 discs. It says 12 used optical discs in here. So I got about 12 all together. I really hope you guys enjoy this unbubbling. This is one of the best unbubblings I've ever done. So I hope you guys enjoy it, Brandon Jake. I know you guys are going to love this, Brandon Jake. You guys always love this, so. I really hope you guys love this uh, Diabolic uh, DVD un unboxing, so I'm going to do it right now and let's get started. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to set the camera over here. Just want to cut the knife open because i got to cut the knife open with the box. As you can see there it comes from uh, Philadelphia PA. That's where Diabolic is. That's just my address. I kind of scripted it off so nobody can see it really that good. This is 212 optical disc. So. We're going to open it up and let's see what's inside, guys. I know Jake and Brand's really been looking forward to this video, so... Just got to be careful I don't cut any of the DVDs. Be careful here, really be careful. I don't want to cut in any of the DVDs. Oh, fuck that tape tight. Keep that when I do that. There we go. I just gotta get this other side guys. They got this really taped up good, so it's gonna take a minute. Fucking oh, wait. Should have cut the spots before I started the video. Maybe really could have had that open already. There we go, just get this side. There we go, I got it guys. Here's what it looks like opening the box. It's got all this bubble stuff on top, which is a good idea with a package this big. This, this big of an order. Let me put it that way. So, put a lot of bubbling in this. Oh shit, I almost fell. I don't want to clean all this mess up after. That's going to be fun. We've got a shitload of stuff in here, guys. Put all that over there. Okay, make sure I get everything out. Here's everything that I got in, guys. It's the shit at the bottom here, you know. Put this fucking crap in here. Okay, guys, so there's the empty box. Um. I might be putting this video on YouTube, I don't know yet if I'm just going to put it on Facebook, but if I do put it on YouTube, this will be my first video on YouTube in a long time. I might put this up on YouTube, I don't know yet, we'll see, or I might just put it on Facebook, but hopefully, like I said, you guys enjoy this video, and um, uh, yeah, so anyway, let's get into it, but yeah, I might be putting this on YouTube as well, so anyways, let's get into everything I got. I'm going to start with the Blu-rays first, and then I'll get into the DVDs, hop into the DVDs, because I want to show the, the Blu-rays first. So the first one up I got is called The Beast. This came out in 1975. Um, I always remember seeing this when I was a kid, the cover art of this, and I've always really been interested in this film. Um, I can't really get into say too much what it's about because I've never seen it, but I know it's about this woman that like falls, like she's um, uh, she's basically like sucked her into this relationship with this guy before she even meets him or something like that. I think that's how it goes. She doesn't even meet him. And then it turns out to be some kind of like beast animal or something. She thought it was a human man. It turns out to be some kind of beast or something. I think that's what I like. I thought I really can't go into too much detail because I've never seen it. But the cover has always really influenced me to watch this one. So I've always wanted to check this one out. And this is a Criterion release, I think, by Arrow. It's got a lot of special features on it. The whole bottom right there is just full of special features. So I can't wait to get around to checking that out. But yeah, so I got the Beast on Blu-ray. I can't like this really go into detail because I've never seen it, but I'm hoping it's really going to be good. And then next up I got Christine on Blu-ray. Um, 
I'm wanting to get this movie for a long time. This is a classic horror film. I'm sure everybody, a lot of people have seen Christine before. Um, uh, it's about this car guy that gets possessed his body takes over his evil car. It's a John Carpenter film. Um, uh, Steve, um, Christine, I really always really loved this movie. Um, I just want to go into special features you get unless you get deleted scenes, commentary with director John Carpenter and Keith Gordon, who's a lead actor. Um, uh, what else do you get? Christine Fast and Furious, Christine Finish Line. So you get a few like featurettes and some audio commentary and uh, stuff like that, which would be cool to listen to the audio commentary. And there's some deleted scenes, so that'll be cool to check out. So yeah, Christine came out '83, I think, and it stars Keith Gordon, John Stockwell, Alexandra Paul, who on the plan Baywatch, Hey Dean Staten. So it's got a pretty good cast to it. So I can't wait to get around and checking that one out. Next up is to the Picarama series, and it's um uh, the only one that's come out to Blu-ray so far. This is the only Blu-ray release of the Picarama series. The rest are on DVD. I'm really close to collecting them all, guys. My Picarama series is just about completed. Just still a couple, few, like three or four more. I think I need to get my collections completed. But this has the Young Lake at Hot and Sex uh, Sweet Young Foxes, which is uh, both released in the 80s, I think. Um, 83 and 83, they both came out. Um. They're both directed by Bob Chin, and they star like people like um, Kay Parker, Ron Jeremy, Eric Edwards, Joey Silver Silveria, um, adult legends like that are in it. So I can't wait to get out and check it out, see what it looks like on Blu-ray, see how good of a job they did clean these pictures. In my opinion, they probably could have put more important adult films out than the, the the Young Like It Hot and Sweet Young Foxes, but these are the ones that they chose to put on Blu-ray. But yeah, I'm looking forward to fun. They should be fun to watch. Can't wait to watch these. So I got another one to my peek around the series. Next up is um, Pom Pom Girls, which is um, out of print. Uh, somehow they had us uh, had it in stock at uh, Diabong. They might have found maybe more in the warehouse or something. They didn't know they had, but yeah, this is I've been out of print for a while. Pom Pom Girls. It's not one that you can go out and buy. Um, it's been out of print, like I said, for a while now. And uh, I'm trying to think of who's in this. Is, is, there, any, is there anybody that I know in this? Um, oh yeah, Robert Carradine's in it. He was one that went on to play that eventually played Revenge of the Nerds. Um, I don't see anybody else I recognize in there, but Robert Carradine. But Robert Carradine's in it. Um, but yeah, it's a palm con. I don't think this has any special features, does it? Cut rated version segment with Kate's meow. The tri uh, trivia segment. That's all you get in the trivia segment. And the original camera negatives, fun facts, and trivia on the original trailer. But yeah. They got Pom Pom Girls on Blu-ray. It's a sex comedy from the 70s. I believe it came out in, uh, um, what year did this come out? I know it was in the 70s. I'm going to say like 76 or 77, I think it was released. But yeah, so there's Pom Pom Girls. Next up, I got Savage Weekend, which is a horror film. Um, uh, this is, I haven't never seen this one, the Savage Weekend, but I've always wanted to check it out. Um, I've heard things about it. Um, this has for special features guys, on camera interview with star Caitlin O'Hara, on camera interview with star William Sanderson, on camera interview with star Jeff Pomerantz, and the original trailer to that one, The Savage Weekend. Looking forward to checking that one out guys. I think it's a fun 80's like slasher type film, horror film, so I can't wait to get around and checking it out. And next I got Shocker, um, they, re they just re-released the collector's edition of this, the Russ Craven Shocker, which came out in 89. Um, this is the new updated version that just came out, and when you open it up, like when I would take it out of the wrapper, I'll show you guys, um, uh, eventually I'll open this up and show you when I do open it, that there's a reverse cover art for the original artwork for Shocker, but this is what I always see when I went to the horse section as a kid of Shocker, and I've always wanted to check it out, the cover has always really in interested me, and this has brand new special features like audio commentary, um, you get, uh, a new interviews with the actor that plays Shocker, uh, actor Mitch, Pelagui, Pelagui, uh, and um, you get more interviews with other stars from the film, um, uh, just stuff like that, and a couple different audio commentaries and a bunch of interviews on this for Shocker Blue, uh, the Shocker Blu-ray release. So can't wait to get around and check it out. I've always wanted to check Shocker. Out. I think I might have seen parts of it in the past, but I've never seen the whole thing. For us, even Shocker. So I'm really looking forward to checking that out. That one out. So there's the Blu-rays, guys. I got in. Now we're gonna quickly hop into the DVDs. Next one up is another Picarama one. That I got from my collection, which comes with the, the sensationally liberated female and he and she, which I've never seen either one of these. Um, I hope they're good. I just wanted to get them to go into my collection because they're going to go into the rest of my Picarama series. So 
I want to, like I said, eventually have them all. So, never seen either one of these, but I'm looking forward to checking them out. So, I'm going to go with my Picarama series. So, there's one, and this one is another, uh, um, uh, Driving collection um, that comes with um, on her bed of roses and the incredible sex revolution. Next, we got the story of Prunella, which is from the Avon collection. Now, this is one of the ones I've been missing. I wanted to get. Um, this came out in 1982, and it stars um, Ron Jeremy. Um, I know was in it. I know George Payne's in it. Um, Sherry Champ Champagne's in it, uh, and all of them, the regular, you know, Phil Prince stars that worked for Phil Prince, and, um, this is the only one that's got that, you know, that, uh, Phil Prince documentary, and it's got, it's got commentary and rare outtakes for this one, this is a direct recommend if you can find this edition to pick it up, so I got this to go with my Avon collection, I'm not the biggest Avon guy, but I do collect the odd Avon films, what Avon was is just a, um, a company that re that specialized in like more like roughy films, like Avon. There was an Avon Theater in New York Times Square back in the day that ran in the 70s, up until late 1983, and then it was shut down. So um yeah, it was just that they just eventually specialized in more like roughy type films. Like I said, I gotta be in the mood to watch these type of films. I'm not always in the mood to watch roughy films, but once in a while I like to check them check them out. So this is why I never had the story of Prunella, and I seen a lot of people on YouTube that had this one, so I definitely wanted to check it out. Story of Penelope released in 82, so I can't wait to check that out, and I can't wait to check that Phil Prince documentary out. And the next one I got is another Peep Show collection, volume 12. Um, the Peep Show collection, got a woman on there with really big hangers, right there in the front, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if, I, I don't want to show the back of this, because it's too split. Um, but yeah, it comes with the usual liner notes uh, by Robin Bogey, who I love reading every one of these volumes, is the, is the uh, insert that comes inside, so I really love that. So, um... Yeah, so I can't wait to get around to watching that uh, Peep Show collection. I got another Peep Show collection volume. Then I got another uh, Picarama one. This one comes with Lust, Inferno, and then Marathon, which is the one that John Holmes did after he got out of jail. I know John Holmes in this one. It came out early 1983, Marathon. I believe it was released in 1983, the film Marathon. It has John Holmes in it, I know that. Ron Jeremy's in it. Jamie Gillis. Sharon Mitchell. Legends like that, and also I don't know nothing about Lust Inferno though. If that one's any good or not, but I know Marathon. I've always wanted to check out, so I got that to go with my Picarama series. So hopefully it'll be good. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm really for checking that one out. And then the last one, technically I do have this, but what happened was I didn't think I ordered this a long time ago. I back ordered this. Um, the uh, direct Carter Stevens Avon 7 triple feature. I know you guys seen this in one of my other videos I did, but what happened was I ordered this a long time ago from Di Diabolic, and I didn't think they were ever going to get it in, but they ended up getting it in. But I promised that they got it, I pay them. So what I think I'm going to do, being that I already own this, is I'm going to put it on Amazon. I'm going to try to sell it on Amazon if I can open up a selling account and try to see if I can make some money back on it. So I might be selling this one. I already got a copy of it, but. Yeah, because I had to, I ordered another copy because I didn't think Diabolic was ever going to get in. I ordered it like three or four months ago, and it never did come in, so I just ordered it elsewhere. But being like I already got a copy of this now, I might just sell this copy and make some money back. So I might end up selling this one on um, on Amazon.com or .ca and see if I can make some money back on it. If I know how to open up a seller's account, I don't know how you open up a seller's account. I know it's a lot easier to open up a buyer's account than it is a seller's account, so I'm going to have to check into that and see if I can open one up or not, and then maybe I can sell that and make some money back on it. So for now, I'm probably just going to leave that one sealed. So anyways, guys, that's everything I got in. I just want to show you guys. I hope you can see that. I don't know if that camera's blurry or not. But hopefully you can see that, guys. But that's everything I got in. Um, I'll just quickly go over it one more time. For, and then I'm going to end this video because it's went on long enough. But, yeah, I'm using my camera for this and not my iPad. This video is probably going to take a long time to upload. So I kind of want to hurry. But there's Peek Around again with Marathon. Peep Show Collection, Volume 12. Um, the story of Penella on the Better Roses, the sexual, um, sexual revolution, even classic ones. Another Picarama, Shocker Blu-ray, Savage Weekend, Pom Pom Girls. Another one of my Picarama. This one released the only one that's released on Blu-ray up to this point. Comes with comes with uh, the Young Lake at Hot and Sweet Young Foxes, Christine Blu-ray. 
and the beast. I'm going to watch this, guys, and let you know how good this is. I'm going to get around and check it myself. So I'm going to end this video, guys. And then I'm going to stop this one now, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you a couple of the deep, the, that shocker blue room. I want to show you the reverse cover art to that, so I'll show you. I'll stop this video now, and then I'll do that. I'm going to open these ones up, except for the, um, except for the, uh, um, Carter Stevens triple feature, because I might be selling that one. So I'm going to stop this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my, uh, Diabolic DV unboxing of, um, of, uh, old, uh, um, horror films, uh, exploitation films, and my on old adult classes. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, I'll be back another couple weeks, another DVD Blu-ray update. I'll have some other stuff coming in, so I'll do that when I get it in the mail. And then stay tuned, because after Christmas I'm gonna have a big update too. I'll be ordering some stuff out of my Christmas money, some DVD sets, and that I want to get in some Blu-ray. So stay tuned for that. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm out.